Hi, welcome to the second episode of Making Music with a Broken Car Stereo. In the previous video we sampled sounds from the car stereo directly from the speaker out and today we are going to have a look at the recorded file and select some uh, beats and pieces and create a short composition. Uh, we are going to use uh, Cool Edit Pro for sample editing and Ableton Live for arrangement and composition. Uh, plus uh, various plugins uh, from uh, Isotope, Native Instruments and Waves. You are going to find all the links uh, down in the description. And let's hear a short excerpt of what will be the final composition. And as the tutorial is quite long, I will put in the description some uh, links to time cues uh, to different parts of the tutorial so that you can skip directly to it. And well, let's get to it. So I just open uh, my recording file with the Cool Edit Pro, which is a very cool uh, program. It's this one. Here we can see the sample rate is uh, 96,000 uh, Hz, 16-bit, mono, this is the size of the file. And so basically I oversample, so for example if I hear this part, like that I am hearing it at uh, one times the speed, but I can from this menu. I can adjust the sample rate so I can go down to 44,100. What I'm going to do is to stretch the audio both in pitch and speed so I can hear a lot more details in the sound. for example sounds very interesting like some kind of animal what I'm going to do is to apply a filter uh, perfect equalizer resetal to zero so we're in a flat situation in preview I can hear the playback and make live changes and hear it Interesting pulsing. What I'm going to use is Contact, which is a great sample from Native Instruments. I will show you why it's so great. Okay, I just drag my sample inside Contact window, go to Settings, and just now I, I can. basically some different pitches, but what I don't like in the basic mode is that to create different pitches, as you can hear, the program just speeds up the sound to achieve a higher pitch, but it changes the, all the dynamics. So what I can do with contact is uh, set it on a time machine uh, mode, I use time machine pro because there's more uh, parameters. So. This is the main pitch, higher pitch. You can see the, the length of the sample has not been changed. Not the pitch. Of course, here we can start to hear some artifacts. Uh, an octave higher. Try an octave lower. The lowering octaves works very good. Here you can also change the speed independently, maybe you want it 8 times faster or 1% of the speed. 
which is actually very interesting for this one. Then we start to shape the sound. What I usually do is to apply a main equalizer. I like very much the API simulations from uh, the Waves, the Waves plugin. Uh, I like the API 560. I'm using the mono version because my sample is mono, so for now I don't need it to use the stereo plugin. I want to add some reverb, but I want to add it only to a part of the sound, so what I can do is to create a group and that allows me to create uh, different chains. So I will uh, call this chain uh, like direct or main, yeah, it's the same. And I create a new chain and I will call it reverb. So I can solo this chain, so we can hear only that. And I put a um, another equalizer, and I can select only the the high part of my sound. can put a nice reverb. I'm always using the uh, Waves Suite plugins. Uh, there is a R verb, which has uh, some different uh, models. I can choose the R verb mono to stereo, because this is the point when I where I go from mono to stereo. So always be careful to drop it inside this chain because here I am applying it only to this chain while here is outside the chain. So if I put it here, that's good. I want a chamber reverb, which is quite nice. I want to bring back up the high frequencies, which are disabled by default, or even more. I want my chamber to dampen my sound. We're at 1k, so frequency. can unsolo my chain and you can hear that now we have the low part which is very mono and unaffected by our reverb. 
reverb plus our reverb high part together they sound quite nice okay so now let's bring in a second or second sample Settings always put it on Time Machine Pro so can play with it. I always like to play in streams to see what I can get. This one I like it more fast. Okay, it like that for now. And we'll start applying effects. Here again uh equalizer. Let's hear how they sound together. Press play so I have basic sound. What I want to do is to give it uh, some more uh, space. So first thing I will uh, add some uh, reverb. Here we go, mono to stereo. You can just leave it uh, the whole. I don't, don't want a particular reverb just to put it on stereo. I don't want it to be dampened anyway. Wet dry, I can put classic 50 50. See how it sounds. part of the sound I don't like in the beginning so I can here I start here also I would like to have um, a slower attack so what I can do is to create a new modulator creating an envelope a classic HDSR envelope shows up here so I can slow the slower attack and I want the volume to drop so starting to like it then going back to specialization after we we made our sound uh, stereo we can use this very nice plugin from uh, isotope it is uh, from the isotope ozone suite 
Uh, it's one of the six uh, plugins that you can use uh, separately or you can use the entire suite uh, together chain. So I'm going to use the I major. So here basically, play a note. You can see how specialized our sound is. And uh, we can decide in bands how much we want to specialize it. So for example, I want to adjust this band. It's very nice and easy to use because here I see my spectrum. Here, this will change. For example, on this other band. Specialize. You can also specialize bass, but usually highs, but we don't have a lot of highs here, so let's leave it at it. We can see before and after with the bypass. See now it sounds kind of mono. Okay, and here I have another part I selected. I'm going to apply some equalization. Usually, I want to apply equalizer. one I want to be more selective and choose only a very high part of the sound to apply the reverb on so I can use the built-in uh, equalizer equalizer 8 of uh, Ableton Live I want it to be only on my reverb chain I put it on solo so it here on this so I can basically put uh, Low cut and a high cut, and let's see what I want in the middle. It's basically, here this richness. So I can now apply my 
waves are verb onto stereo still inside chain on something more bright in the church I want it to be dampen instead I want to have the eyes. And then let's hear it together with the dark part. Nice. But as I did before with our sounds, I want some more space to it. So I will use again my as a top ozone I major. You can see my image is pretty narrow. So like this uh, trail I'm getting from the reverb and I want it to be longer but just at the end so what I'm going to do is to apply a spring reverb in the Waves uh, VST plugin suite there is a very interesting uh, spring reverb simulation which is in the guitar stomp box simulation so I'm going to choose uh, GTR, it's called GTR Stomp, choose stereo, because I am already in stereo. And uh, I've only choose slots with the other, uh, you can have four or six slots, but for now I only need one. And here it is, the spring reverb. I am mixing only the reverb, no pre-delay, time something high. Let's hear our sounds. It's very long. But I don't want it to start immediately, so what I'm going to do is to play with it. You can assign it for automations or controller assignation. And just do it like that and you have everything for example if you move it you can see which one moves so it's slot one control one is the next thing let's just arrange a very short piece so we have this base carpet this pulsing base then I have my other instrument here I like it so I can just go on and record
too much polyphony, my computer doesn't really like it. And then I can stretch a little bit more my base part. I can see that the climax has built up to here almost and the high part so I can shorten it and disable grid so I can fluidly change and make it stop here and then I want to create some effect some uh, climax effect also on my base part I want some uh, climax to build up also on my base part so what I'm going to do is to put some interesting distortion on my base which I will put before everything before the reverb, before equalizer with the usual uh, GTR stomp uh, from the uh, waves I usually like some uh, overdrive as a very nice rendition of a overdrive let's hear how it sounds yeah, a bit too much so my GPU doesn't overload and I recorded some automation of the drive parameter of my overdrive I'm going to see the drive knob move to add some uh, base part with the operator is a built-in plugin of uh, Ableton Live you can put it on fixed note and I want to do some FM modulation uh, here I can choose how the various oscillators are, uh, are stacked I want to have this scheme so Basically, uh, those two, this and this oscillator are stacked, are on the same level, and this one is stacked over the, the green one, so the green is modulating directly the yellow one. type of modulation on uh, this one for example I can choose a uh, sawtooth 
save. Need something more aggressive. Put it a square. I can use some sine at eight bit. Also, my main I want high. I want a lot. Just something to make the sound more dirty. I'd like some reverb on this synth. Mono to stereo. And some fat church reverb. 50 50. Some dampening here is okay. No bass part. to add some more space to it with my uh, isotope ozone plugin and neutral record our operator here record.
I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and the final result and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos.